How you doing, YouTube? This is Chris Muso here, and I am in the new studio. We have finally moved all the way from northeast of the U.S. all the way down south. Now we are finally in Florida. We are excited to be here. But of course, when it comes to moving, there are so many types of hassles when you do move. That's why I decided to create a playlist if you ever do move, whether it be the US or whether you move internationally somewhere. But this video is not gonna be about that. As you can see, it is quite a mess in here. I don't really have everything quite set up yet. I don't even have ethernet cords, right? Of course, everything is in the pod. It won't be arriving till Monday. And here I am on Thursday. It was late because of the snow. Of course, all you guys up in the Northeast of US towards New York and Pennsylvania and Delaware know exactly how much snow is up there. So it really caused a delay in our plans. It was supposed to arrive a lot earlier in the week. We were hoping for some appropriate timing for everything, but it looks like that's not going to be the case. And of course there is a lot of different things I am dealing with moving and it is quite a headache. But of course, once everything settles down, I'm sure it's gonna be 100% worth the move. The whole point is I don't have my ethernet wires. I cannot hook up the internet to my PCs. Of course, these motherboards do feature Wi-Fi in them. My new Asus Hero Z690 does feature Wi-Fi I. I mean, Wi-Fi E, not Wi-Fi I. And this will be great, especially when you're moving someplace new. And the condo that we live in, it really blocks out a lot of signals. So we can't really good, get really good reception outside. So we don't really get great cell service. So why not make a video about a Wi-Fi router? Because that's something that will be tremendous and will definitely affect your type of gameplay or your workflow. You need reliability, especially when you're out here just like me working on content or anybody else out there who wants that reliable connection. The, Wi-Fi router, I'm really excited to share with you, fam, man. Asus's Rod Capture Axe 1000. I like to call it Axe, but it's really AXE. It has a very good connection and it is built for Wi-Fi E connection. Now, something like this, I don't typically uh, recommend to everybody, but if you are in a place where you don't, uh, you want that super reliable connection, no matter where you are, I believe Asus does have a very decent router and they are one of the best when it does come down to it. So I will unbox this for your fan bam and show you exactly what is in here. So it was quite funny because during the move, I felt like I had everything. As you notice right behind me, I only got one of my monitors with me and that's my Acer Predator monitor. So it kind of sucks when you're working and you can't really get any internet connection. My wife was kind of really rushing me to do this too because she cannot stand being offline like the way we are now. And let me tell you something, it's been like a couple days since uh, we didn't really have great connection. And now I finally do have set up, everything set up because I really wanted to share with you fan fam, just show you exactly what you can expect. Right now, I'm just ripping off all this plastic off. And here it is. It is quite a large box, actually. You can see it if you compare it towards my face here. But, okay, so let's see. Easiest way, kind of opens up like, it looks like kind of like motherboard here. And all kinds of connections. So not only will I unbox this, I'll show you exactly how to hook this up. Unfortunately, they do not have Verizon. Fios out here where I live, I have to use Xfinity. I know, kinda, kinda sucks, but at least we'll make sure we have a pretty decent connection here. So it comes with app setup uh, instructions, comes with Wi-Fi helper tips and everything. It comes down straight to it because that is the actual router right here, as you can see. So I'll sit this down and I can show you. For now, I'll sit it right there because I'm more curious to see what else is, what else does Asus feature in their box here. I do expect them to have some ethernet cords, especially for the premium that you do pay for a router like this because it's the newest tech. Newest tech is always pretty expensive. So 
When you flip this around inside, they'll have like a little box. Make sure you look in it. And it, it looks something like this. And inside the box, they do feature more, more instructions, more and more instructions and warranty guides on stuff. And then of course you got your ethernet cord right here. A uh, short one, it looks like it's about five, about five to six feet. Then you got your power supply here for the actual router. It's pretty decently sized. You can see it's even three pronged. So you know it's packing some heat. And the really amazing thing about this router, it actually features its own processor. So the router actually has a mind of its own when it does actually send out Wi-Fi signals. So it does feature, it is a tri-band gaming router and it is RGB, believe it or not. You can hook up to 2.5 gigabytes of speed uh, to this router. This is a Wi-Fi 6 router and it will deliver those tremendous quick speeds that you need, especially when it comes to downloading and uploading. It's a beautiful looking router over here. You can actually move the antennas up and down and you can switch them side to side depending on which rooms that you will be using it in. So because my living room is out towards the right side of things, it's towards the right, I will flip the antennas towards this direction just for a better connection. If you have rooms in the back, you can actually stretch them out towards that direction. So it's up to you on how you set it up. And as you can see back here, that it does feature some really nice features here. Now, if you look here, you have the power on switch on and off here. So you can turn it off and on. You can even have a reset switch. And this is where you actually plug in the router. Over here on this side, you do have your WPS. If you want to hook up a phone with the WPS button, this is also a booster and Wi-Fi mode, as you can see. You can let you know internet and internet connection through ethernet here and then your Wi-Fi connections. So also another tip guys is if you ever hook up a Wi-Fi router is to make sure to have it set to just one Wi-Fi instead of just having like a tri-band router. If you have everything set to five gigahertz, it'll kind of focus more on that side of things. So if you look on the back here, you can see that it has four ethernet ports here. That's all you hook up your main connection right here. And this is also for your 2.5 gigahertz connection as well. So you do have those options, which is a really nice feature to have. Of course, you take a look at that beautiful ASUS symbol here. And now we're just gonna hook it up and we can see it in action. All right, so we're down here on the floor. Excuse some of the dryer noise that you hear because we're still washing a ton of clothes and everything from the move but here we got the asus router here right on the floor and we will set it up uh, what we got to do is unhook the modem reason why we got to unhook the modem is so that way it can be picked up on the actual router so before we actually power on the router we actually have to stop the power in the modem so that way it can be read into the router so once we do that, just simply unplug it, all right? I just slid it loose enough to where it doesn't have a connection here. All right, so now we're over here to the router. Make sure you hook up this yellow ethernet cord or any ethernet cord really, and you wanna hook it up to the back of the WAN side, the wide area network. So it should be pretty obvious. It's gonna actually have like a blue port just to let you know that is the WAN side. Wait for all these pretty lights to turn on. Great, so it looks like we got an internet connection here. And now all we have to do is power on the router next. So all we have to do is enter the web browser or they even have an app where you can actually install the network. Let's hope this wire they gave me will reach over to the PC. So what you have to do is go into router.asus.com just like this. And then you're gonna click create a new network. So your internet uh, connection does not, if it requires a username and password, you can put it in. If it doesn't, you don't have to. So I'm gonna click no for this one. And then I'm gonna go through automatic IP. You could do static IP, but that's a whole nother course. We would just wanna set up the Wi-Fi for now. So I'm just gonna do automatic. 
But I'm gonna keep this simple. So you have the option to make it a tri-band, of course. But right now, to make a simplicity stake, <laughs> out of simplicity stake, I'm just gonna sh I'll show you the easy way to do this. And Wi-Fi 6 mode, that's what we want. And you can set your RGBs through the wrong devices if you want. And we'll, and now you just simply give a name to the router. Just remember it because this is gonna be important for your login information. So we got everything we wanna install so far. We got the router, we got the internet working. Everything is looking pretty good here. Now we can do a speed test. Of course, this is Comcast, so I'm not gonna have the best upload speeds. I'm used to having Fios, which kind of sucks, but it's one sacrifice that I'm gonna have to be willing to take until they get more Fios around this area. But I'm getting very decent, uh, why I'm getting very decent speeds of about 700 megabytes per second. But of course you sacrifice a lot of the upload speeds. The fastest upload speeds I'm probably gonna see is probably about like 25 to 30 megabytes per second. So that is the one bad thing about Comcast. You won't be able to get those quick speeds as you do with Verizon. If you have Fios in the air, that's something I would recommend getting instead. But I, but this looks like this will have to suffice. So the good thing is now I can finally hook up some Wi-Fi on my phone. Me and my wife will be happy. And of course, I will give a much more thorough review of exactly how I think of this Wi-Fi router here. That's practically how you set up your Wi-Fi X 1000 router there. So you could separate it in tri-band or you can make it all into one channel. Hopefully you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you, if you enjoy content just like this, make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell for all the newest updates. Make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Fam bam, guys, what do you think of Asus's router? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo, signing out.